Portfolio Tech presentation, sharing your portfolio. Now sharing your portfolio is very important because you spend a lot of time creating it. Often as you are creating it, you're thinking about the audience to whom you'll be sharing your portfolio with. So inside of Folio Tech, we have a number of different ways you can actually share your portfolio. To view those different ways, you go to the sharing link in the top white bar, and you'll see that we have four different options, sharing privately, publicly, in a community and collaboratively. And I'll talk about each one of those specifically beginning with community. Sharing in a community is a somewhat private share because only the people within the community have access to the portfolios that are shared within it. In order to join a community, the community manager would have to give you access to the community via an invite code. So once you have an invite code, you just paste it in this community share box and you can click the join link that allows you to join the community. Once there, you would then choose to share your portfolio. In this case, I have not until I click this box. Now my portfolio is shared in the Psych 101 community, just like it's shared in the EDUC 1300 community. Another type of share is the public share. This is the share type where anybody in the world would be able to view your portfolio in the World Wide Web. So I come up with a prefix for the domain here, demo portfolio 25, validate that that's a legit prefix for this particular portfolio, which it is. I can click on it and preview it online, live. That's how everybody sees it. And now I can share this with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or any other social media site that I want to. The next type of share is a private share. This is where I'm going to share my portfolio with a specific individual or maybe multiple individuals, but one at a time. And I can give them each an specific length of time that they can view my portfolio for. So there are some very defined parameters within a private share. Type up a message, send it to this particular individual, allows them to view my portfolio for the parameters that I have defined. I can send the invite out. After I've sent it, I can see a listing of the individuals to whom I've sent it. And if I wanted to, I could always remove their access to viewing my portfolio. The final type of share is a collaborative share where you invite contributors to participate within your portfolio. So type in John Stone's name here, I'm gonna send John an email, and that gives John access to edit and add content to my portfolio. So I'm the owner of the portfolio and he is a contributor. This is a great collaborative aspect of portfolio. So you have many people contributing to one product, one end goal, a collaborative portfolio. Once you've shared your portfolio and you've had success doing that, you can always go back and edit the content. But one thing you might get after you've shared your portfolio is feedback. Remember we created a feedback page in our portfolio and so long as you've done that, this form should be in there and anybody can fill out the feedback form. And when they submit feedback, it goes to the feedback area of Fully Tech Presentation. So I've actually received feedback a while back from some other individuals. And if I were to mark all these as unread, I can see that I would have a notification letting me know that, hey, you've got two unread pieces of feedback and then I can mark them as read and the notification disappears. So this is a way for you to get feedback from people you have shared your portfolio with, whether that's publicly or privately. So you can um, find out what they think of the work that you're creating and you can make adjustments and adaptations to your portfolio for the appropriate audience. So as you can see, sharing your portfolio is a very powerful feature in Folio Tech presentation. And the reason it is because often the audience to whom you choose to share your portfolio with defines the process you go through to construct the portfolio.